Hi guys, Kevlar here, back in Stranded Deep. So this video is going to be a, um, I guess a, a top tips video. So I'm going to try and fit in 20 quick top tips as quick as I can. There's more where they came from, so there'll be more on other videos. And I will be doing more vi detailed videos on each of the top tips, um, so you can get a bit more info. But this should be a quick video to get a load of tips out there. So here we go. So the tips are in no particular order, but let's let's get on it. Right, so first tip, choosing your home island. So there's a lot of islands to pick from. Obviously you start in different places, depending on the start of your game, you could be anywhere. Um, so you either want to pick an island in the middle, so it's easy to navigate to lots of other islands, or another idea is to pick an island along the edge. Now the reason for that is that it's easier to navigate to or find if you ever get really lost. So for example, if your home island is this one and you're really lost, you know you just need to go far north, west, wherever you are in that direction until you hit a wall and then you know you can just follow that wall until you, I guess, reach your island on the left hand side so you'd follow it round or follow it round that way. Tip number two is to set up a basic camp on every single island you go to. So have a shelter, water still and a campfire. So that every time you go to an island you'll know that you've been there and if you get lost coming back from another island you can always stop off at the islands you've already been to, have a drink, save the game and then you, you know less risk of dying. Tip number three when you're setting up your shelter on each of the islands you go to always try and point the shelter in the direction of your home island so let's say there's my home island over there and again that helps you if you ever get lost you stop off at one of the islands that you've already been to have a look at where the shelter's pointing and you know to head that direction to get back to your home base tip number four is prepare well whenever you're leaving for another island always take some key resources so take some food take some tools that you need antidotes are always good as much fuel as you need, take your compass and some of the key resources that you might need to start building that basic camp on each island. You can always take the roll up bed as you can obviously get that out and save the game straight away as soon as you land on the island if you don't have enough resources to build the camp straight away. Tip number five, palm fronds and sticks. So the later you get in the game you realise how scarce it is actually to get enough sticks to do big building projects. Whereas palm fronds you don't actually use that much. So I'd always suggest to use your palm fronds to fill up your fire instead of sticks. Tip number six, fibrous leaves. Although they grow again and again and again, so there's endless resource of them, they are quite useful for lashing. So although you can use them, again, to fill up your water and fill up your fire, I don't tend to use them for that because I need loads of them all the time for lashing. Tip number seven is stacking items. It's a fairly recent update. As you can see, all these items are a bit of a mess at the moment. There's various items you can actually stack. So if you collect a few items in your hand, hold down the create button and you get this little blue symbol, you can create a nice neat stack. You can do this with various items, um, a bunch of them I've got here. I'm sure there's a few more items you can do stacks with, I don't think I've captured everything here, but there you go, doesn't that look a lot neater? Okay, tip number eight is drinking coconut milk. I'm sure you're aware by now, but drinking more than two lots of coconut milk will give you diarrhea. Yeah, not very pleasant. However, when you're starting off in the game, it's really hard to get all the resources to make your water still, so you've got to rely on coconuts for a while. So actually, this only drinking two coconut rule only actually lasts for 10 in-game minutes. So what I drink two now. Check my watch, it's 12.06. Now it's 12.17. Drink another two coconuts without getting ill. The same rule applies for eating the coconuts as well. Okay, tip number nine. 
creating a plank station or anything else that needs uh, an axe actually in the creation of it. So always wear down your axe tool to the, I guess, to the lowest durability it can before it disappears so that you get the most use out of your axe before getting rid of it. So you'll see here I've got this down to 0.3% which is actually really low. I've never got it that low before. I think if I try and hit anything with it, it's going to break. There we go. There's my plank station. I haven't wasted a brand new axe. Tip number 10. When you're carrying back wood planks to your base, so you can only fit five logs in a crate. However, if you turn the logs into planks, so that's four logs, it's obviously four planks. You can fit four planks in one slot. So you can you can take back 20 instead of five. So that's a great way of taking a lot more resource back in one trip. However, remember building with planks is more expensive. Obviously you need a plank floor. Uh, takes I think three or four planks, whereas a wood floor only takes four sticks. So you are using more resource. But if you want to build the planks, that's the quickest way to get your planks back. Is building the planks on the island that you've looted them from, rather than taking them back to then build them on your island. Tip number 11, I guess there's two in one here because I'm in the water, because my SPF has got really low. So obviously go under the water to clear your, or improve your SPF. But what we're really in the water for as well is to show how to spot shipwrecks from afar. So if you see over there there's some white bubbly spray on the surface of the water. If you see anything like that it means there's a shipwreck or something underneath that area for you to loot. Now it used to be said that they also have that bubbly spray on top of where you can find clay. I'm not sure if maybe it was the case on an older version or maybe on console version because I've been playing on PC, but that's not the case. Uh, you won't find clay by searching for the bubbly area. Tip number 12, when you're looting an island, the best thing to do is do your, your water looting. So you search for the shipwrecks, clay and everything like that between the hours of 9am and 4pm because as you can see now, it's just getting up to 4 p.m. and it's getting a bit too dark underwater to have good visibility to find anything. So do all your water hunting during high sun hours. Then in the evening when it gets darker, you do all your work on the shore. So cutting down all the trees, getting your fibrous leaves and everything like that. That's the quickest way or the best way to efficiently utilize your time on an island to completely loot it. So that brings me on to tip number 13. Best way to sort of go around collecting resources is to completely clear an island in one go. So that's why you set up your camp, spend your daytime getting everything from the water, spend your evening getting everything chopped down from the main island, either take it straight to your ship to take back home, pile it up neatly so you can come back and do multiple tricks, trips to collect everything. And once you've obviously cleared the island, you can tick that island off as done. And you know you won't need to come back to it again. So that does bring me on to my next tip of actually logging or taking note of which islands you've been to and which ones are fully looted. Well, this is a bit of a, uh, I don't know, a sad tip. I don't know if everyone wants to do this, but it's a good, good way of tr tracking everything. So basically print off the map from the cartographer, mark where your home island is, and then just basically create your own sort of, I guess, logging system of ticking off what you've done on each island. So basically I colour the islands yellow once I've been to them. I put B if I've set up a base, I've set up my standard base on them. And then I've got other coding for once I've cut down all the trees and got all the log resources off them. When I've collected all the crates, when I've got all the loot, uh, when I've got all the clay. And when I've got everything, including barrels, scrap, I have a circle around it and cross them off. So you can see there's certain islands that I've completely finished off. Most of the ones I've been to, I've taken most stuff on there. I just need to go back and get clay because uh, I wasn't doing that start. So for me, I mean, that's the aim of my game. I want to clear all of the islands of every single resource, build the biggest base I can before I start 
doing the bosses. Okay, tip 15, how to get these big container doors back to your home base. Basically, build a massive boat and have a big gap in the middle where they can sit. You'll have enough space for two. Sorry, my boat's gone a bit underwater because I've got these crates sitting on there as well. But if you've got two side by side in that big gap, it won't sink, it will sail okay, and you'll be all good to take two at a time back. If you try and put more on, a bit like what I've done here, so these crates are just piled on top, that's when your boat starts to sink. So I'll have to pick them up. And we'll be all good, see? There we go, two container panels in there, nice. Okay, tip number 16. So any fish you get from the sea, crabs, snakes, wild boars, anything that you've killed, before you actually cut the meat off of them, you can leave them forever basically. Seagulls as well. Um, yeah, leave them forever before you want to cut the meat and they won't go off. Once you've cut the meat off of them, if you leave that lying around, that will spoil and go off and you can't eat it. So yeah, don't cut them up until you want to actually cook them or eat them. Tip number 17, once you've cooked your meat, you'll see this is now called cooked crab meat. Eat it because again that will go off if you leave it too long. However, if you used a smoker and you've smoked your meat, it will be called cooked smoked meat rather than just cooked meat. And that you can store and it will last. I don't know whether it's forever or for an extremely long time, but yeah, it never tends to go off. So you can cook those, store them for a long time and eat them at a later date. Okay, tip number 18, killing crabs. Sneak up behind them and then you can kill them. They won't turn around, they just run away. Okay, that was my bad, I ran in front of it, but yeah, if you, if you stay behind it, they'll run forwards and you can keep stabbing them till they die. If you get in front of them, that's when they attack. Tip 19 for navigation. Always keep an eye on your compass because you can veer off where the direction you think you're going, so keep an eye on it. But it's still really easy to get completely lost. So you can always head to one of the islands that you see, that, you've, that you would have already set up your basic camp on. Park up, head to your camp, save the game, quit. Look at the cartographer, see where you've got to, and then carry on. See, you can use that opportunity to have a drink, sleep, eat if you need to, before continuing your journey. Also, building a huge base, so you can see it from a mile off, also helps finding your base. Okay, tip 20. Um, this is more for, I guess, building an earlier boat. So, similar to the container carrier, you can have an open space in the middle of a smaller raft to fit your crates. Um, I guess that's good for before you get to start building planks with a plank station and you won't have shelving units that you can put on your, your boat. Um, you can always start off carrying a crate using this middle section. You can fit quite a few in there and obviously yeah, once you've managed to start getting your planks you can build the shelving units and they can attach to your boat to carry even more crates. Okay, I think that's 20 tips for now. So I've got plenty more to come. We'll leave it at 20 so the video is not too long. Um, so there'll be a part two coming up with more tips. So I haven't even started looking at building and things like that, farming and everything else. So more tips to come. Like I say, I'll do some, I guess, more in-depth videos of some main tips, actually taking you through them in a bit more detail. So thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.